Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the seventh episode of the third season of Konosuba. Now last episode I think we kind of ended off our princess castle kind of uh, kid kidnapping arc. I, I don't know what you'd call it really, but it seems like we're going home, we're packing our bags. We, we Cosmo definitely left an impression on the princess that she will not soon forget. Possibly we'll get married later down the line at some point. We'll, we'll see about that, but still got to defeat the Demon King and, and all that good stuff. But this episode, maybe we'll go back into some regular adventuring with the gang. That'd be cool. You know, as much as I've enjoyed the season so far in this arc, it would be cool to see that, you know, just the four of them going out somewhere that they just, they don't know what's going to happen and weird things happen and everyone panics, that kind of thing. So anyway, let's jump on in and see, uh, see how things go. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and support me on Patreon for early access and just the help, really, in general. So let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. How's my dis? Oh, sounds good. <laughs> Pretty good way to start out. <laughs> And then we wake up. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> you get carried away too easily, Kazuma. <laughs> Told you he woke, he woke up. I can't believe we're already like six episodes into the show. Also, they just, they just pack so much into the opening. <laughs> With all these like multiple one, two second clips. Like, it honestly feels like you watch an entire season of Konosuba, just like like a super cut of it, you know? Just as the opening. <laughs> or at least an episode, yeah. I guess all this stuff could happen in one episode. <laughs> Whoosh. Whoosh. One week later. What is there something wrong with it? <laughs> well, there's a the chef looking quite nervous. <laughs> okay. It's certainly a pronunciation right there. <laughs> it's just they're, they're in their pretentious, rich uh, mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just roll with the aqua. <laughs> that was a that was a good save. Cause I must. <laughs> oh, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that was definitely an oddly specific example, but I, I get the spirit of it. <laughs> I told you, Connor and Silva and Aqua are basically the same person. <laughs> Out of how many stars? The tip. Oh, that, <laughs> that, that was, that was a shot right there. You just see those invisible aqua pansu. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, because it never does. What? Oh! <laughs> what, 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 what do we, what, what do we, what what do we walk into? <laughs> Cause I feel like the camera should have been here and not at the restaurant. <laughs> but I don't know what to think, honestly. Do you make make I mean please explain it to me? <laughs> like no need to rationalize, just please please enjoy yourself. <laughs> Darkness clearly enjoyed herself. What about about you, Mega Man? <laughs> Endurance competition. Can I can I help? <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> It did this kind of sound like it. <laughs> Can I what? Uh, give me a second. Oh, oh yeah, that 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 was a thing, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no, how the turns have tabled. Because that's definitely a cannot, de cannot, de cannot defend yourself sort of position. So that that's unfortunate for you. <laughs> oh, she chooses her phrasing very well every time. <laughs> Just completely had his way with her body, in front of everyone. Like a Mega Man's and try to clean up the darkness sweat. <laughs> That's too small to be a dragon egg. That's a chicken egg. Why did she get scammed? I, I see. She is so getting scammed. <laughs> You know what they say, a fool and their money are soon parted. It's a freaking chicken egg. <sighs> Do I look like Daenerys Targaryen to you? Here's the, here's the catch. And that would be... Uh, oh yeah, that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> Reminds me of Michelle Tanner buying the stupid donkey with her lemonade stand money and full house. Like, whatever money you have is how much it costs. What I'm saying is she has the intelligence of a, of a small child. But we are already knew that, didn't we?
It's 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 a chicken. It's a chicken aqua. It's a chicken. <laughs> this kid though. I love how she says that. Hopefully you hopefully you enjoy your chicken. <laughs> More sacks of money. <laughs> I honestly could watch Aqua bicker with people all day long. People that she hates. That is a big question, isn't it? Always. <laughs> Got to give her, got to give her something to do. <laughs> uh, that, that, that is, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> you need to just go away, man. <laughs> Delectable. <laughs> now I'm going to give you a good reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cosmo's not gonna get it better straight. <laughs> Ow. Good thing we have human magic in this show. I suppose it's worth a try. But would it make you less tanky? That's kind of your big thing. That's a go. Oh, wow. Uh, could you imagine her wearing that? <laughs> I can't. I can't help but imagine it now. <laughs> the shame we missed that. I love this humiliation of darkness. <laughs> There's no need to apologize, it's okay. Yeah. Pretty sure you look good in anything, darkness. <laughs> Try an aqua outfit, that, that, that would be interesting. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Yes, it's very important. <laughs> and this was all just for amusement, darkness. Did, did you misunderstand? <laughs> That sounds pretty bad. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. That is not a very positive fortune rating. <laughs> I suppose that's one solution. <laughs> it won't change your actions, but you'll keep it in mind. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, considering your money just disappears, you know. But you can. Oh, do we catch a... Uh... The little fishy from the from the ED. I uh, know. <laughs> Jamuske. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh, how fun. Just look at all those stamps. It seems a bit out of our league. Yeah. No. You know, with your body, for instance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, don't spoil me too much. <laughs> There's no way you thought that was actually going to be good enough. Is he going to kiss the cat? On the cheek, no less. <laughs> Like, I expect at least oral, you know, if you're gonna bribe me like this. <laughs> okay, I was, uh, I was joking, but, uh... Oh no, just going down the guilt angle. That's just not fair. Not fair at all. God damn it, darkness. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Just got that foot. <laughs> Then we get materials open instead of upgrade our dragon sword. <laughs> Man, dark and uh, aqua. <laughs> this is not a goddamn dragon, aqua. I Yeah, the sooner we do this, the sooner we can go back, Aqua. Stop being a baby. Just make sure not to fall in the, in the giant hole in the middle. <laughs> She's in her element, all right. <laughs> oh, it's a dolphin. Rainbow. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks of the crocodile scene. <laughs> uh, Aqua. You had one job. But uh, I think she may have gotten his attention. She's like in the middle too. Uh I'm trying to sleep, guys. Leave me alone. It's not that. Does that look clean to you? <laughs> now that was a quick 180. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, I got this into scale now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, probably beyond our level. Be right back. Uh, that portrait again. It's a very nice portrait. <laughs> it reminds me so much of that boss battle from Dark Souls 1. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the credits about to roll and they did. Maybe that tadpole's like a baby hydra. Maybe that's what comes out of the chicken egg. <laughs> Could you imagine just bouncing on Opie? Like, most of us are too big to, 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 to do that, but... So we'll never truly know. But it would be a thing that would be great to try out at least once. But you'd either have to shrink down or find just massive opi to even have a chance at it. Both, not not possible. <laughs> so sad, sadly. Like, that's my milk. <laughs> and then Aqua gets eaten. The end. The scene kind of imagine that one scene from Jurassic Park. The priest's rejection on me, it's it just do a bunch of damage. It's also crazy to hear about how the weirdly sturdy crusader woman is still in one piece. What kind of party consists entirely of crazy people like that? Are they even worse than the Devil King's army? Yes. Oops, pardon me. Obviously the craziest ones of all are those of us in your army. Well, Devil King, do you look do look after yourself? Strike Ferdia. 
Okay, the next episode is called An Eternal Rest for the Master of This Lake. It must definitely be referring to the Hydra, so I guess that's implying we win. Uh, a bit of a spoilery title there if that's the case, but... But, uh, okay. That was the seventh episode of the third season of Konosuba. This was certainly a fun one. Like I said, we're kind of back into doing adventuring stuff. Fighting up a little bit more that we can chew with this giant Hydra. Like, I'm sure we'll get through it, you know? Mega means explosion. Probably gonna come in clutch to, to win. Although, we guess we do have to get Aqua out of the way. Because I think we ended off the episode with her still on top of that thing. I'll double check real quick. But I think she was still flailing about up there. Yeah. So... <laughs> Definitely might want to get her moved before we before we do that because she's our healer, our resurrector, more to the point. Without her, Cosmo ain't coming back no more. So kind of important not to not to lose her. But yeah, we have plenty of great Aqua stuff this episode, for sure. Her and Cosmo doing the usual, like I said, pretentious, I'm a rich person, you know, trying too hard to act out that role sort of sort of thing. Had some good camera angles on, on Aqua. I'll, we'll leave it at that. But, you know, things really took a turn when we walked in on... Uh, Megamine and darkness, because what do we see first? We see, <laughs> um, we see darkness like wrapped up on the ground in front of the fireplace, blushing, mouth open, a hand which is obviously Megamine's hand, kind of just dripping, uh, dripping water in her, or in her in her mouth, with a line. There you go. That's what you wanted, isn't it? But just kind of like yeah, teasing her above with it. You're such a perverted crusader. Like, clearly, Megamine, she can say everything she wants to say, but she was enjoying that. Very, very clearly. <laughs> I will not submit no matter what you do. And then they realize that somebody just walked in on their kinky roleplay. <laughs> Please don't close the door. I don't know what's better, just the scene we saw or Megamine's defensive reaction to it. They were both so good. But something about the, the explanation was something about an endurance competition. I don't think we actually... Got followed up on that in the episode at all, really. But it was great that Cosmo got to take some revenge on uh, what Darkness did to him when he was wrapped up, right? But also, Aqua got scammed with a chicken egg that she's convinced is a dragon egg. I feel bad for her. Like, you know, Aqua's an idiot, but she still has feelings, you know? Like, I, I still feel for her. But she really should know better. Like, I don't know what we're going to do with her. But... Like I said, more good reaction, uh, interactions between her and and uh, characters mostly are our masked boy. You know, obviously they've always hated each other. Different, you know, they're like inherent opposites on the uh, in nature, right? So they're always going to butt heads. <laughs> but I always enjoy Aqua getting into her like angry, yelly. I don't even know what the best word to describe it is, but, you know, when she gets all flustered and flailing around and yelling. Like, I don't know, I just enjoy Aqua being that way. I don't know why I enjoy it as much as I do, but I, I really do. But also Wiz, you know, we didn't get much of Wiz, just mostly just seeing how how he deals with her, you know, how he manages her. Because she's not a good business person, like she just, you know, we already know about that. So it just comes down to how do you deal with it. You know, try to maximize profits, try to maximize business success and... You know, we see how he's doing it. But a lot of messing with Darkness as well, for sure. Which is always is always great. Darkness, I'm sure she enjoys the humiliation. Because, I mean, she's Darkness, right? So, that was that was definitely a good scene. <laughs> Especially the reveal that, oh, that was none, none of that was actually necessary. I just, I just wanted to ask you. You just, just touch the ball and we can, we can do the reading. <laughs> she was, she was, uh, she was not, she, she, she was angry about that, I, I think. But, yeah, a lot of good stuff there, too. But for sure, foreshadowing some some future problems to deal with. But for now, we have a Hydra to deal with, which Aqua. Aqua is not a big fan of any of that. She wants to be home with her dragon egg to make sure it hatches healthy and becomes a good dragon. I just, it's just something like that. But she got to go swim in the lake. I think that made her feel a little bit better. Up until she became the Hydra's hat, I think at that point she became less happy. But... <laughs> You know, life has its ups and downs. I don't know what to tell you, Aqua. I didn't quite get why they showed what's his face uh, near the end of the episode, staring at the uh, the portrait. If that was connected to the Hydra at all, <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I think that's about all I have to say on the episode. It was it had a lot of the good Konosuba goodness 
sprinkle throughout. Aqua goodness, darkness goodness. Megami, not quite as much with her, really. I mean, darkness got to hold up her outfit in one of the flashbacks, so, you know, that, that kind of involved Megami, as well as Megami being, you know, the one that was, uh, doing things to darkness when they were when they were alone so i guess you know she wasn't too far behind the others as far as relevance to the episode goes but it was mostly a darkness episode overall if i had to choose somebody that it focused the most on you know because she had the reading and everything like that but but yeah good stuff yeah so yeah that's it so thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video until then bye bye